So finding extracurriculars is hard, so why not make your own? In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can make a nonprofit, why you should need something like that in your extracurriculars and how it can help you. So let's first talk about why you need a nonprofit. So in your extracurriculars, you need to show your strengths, right? You need to show what you're good at. And I feel like this is a really good type of passion project that you can do besides from any main activity that you might have. So for example, if you were doing volunteer service instead of just doing volunteer service you can do something like a nonprofit but a lot of people think about the cost because making nonprofits is very pricey so I have a great alternative for you to use the alternative is to get a fiscal sponsorship so what is a fiscal sponsorship a fiscal sponsorship is basically you're under a nonprofit organization that's like kind of your umbrella organization i think that's the term and when you're under the umbrella organization you share its nonprofit status because you are a project under that nonprofit organization even though you're technically depends on your contract but you're basically in control of everything um, maybe they'll have a few inputs on what you want to do however the organization that my friends and i use was hack plus which as you can see is pretty great because we were allowed to do our own thing and we also had a little bit more recognition so more people will trust us in that matter so being a 501c3 fiscal sponsored project is the same equivalent as being a nonprofit. you don't get taxed for either um, the only difference is who's the organization officially under and i feel like as far as high school projects go there isn't really a need for you to spend like over one or two grand to buy a company or not buy to make a company make a non-profit because it's not worth the money so for everyone who's thinking of doing that i would advise against it because the whole point isn't if it's official the whole point is the things that you do inside which we are going to get to so what should you do in your non-profit and how do you grow well i guess the easiest way to answer that question is your friends your friends is the most easiest way for you to grow your non-profit um or physical sponsorship project same same difference the best way for you to grow is to get your friends together with you and you know kind of talk it out with them and ask them if they would like to help out or if you guys want to co-found the project together like that is perfectly fine because you need to have like an audience base i guess in order for you to grow and for me and my friend my friends and i don't kill me english teacher my friends and i and we, back in 2020 when i was talking with my friends about making study bubbly we didn't really know each other like we were just basically strangers on the internet but we still went ahead and did it and we made study bubbly which was really cool and it's really insane i guess in a way because it's so cool combining your different talents and kind of putting it together and making this sort of project and i think that's the experience that everyone should at least experience once when you're in this kind of position where you can help other people you need to first know what you want to help them um, especially in the beginning it's very vague and eventually you do qualify your goals but you need to make sure you have your goals clear because your goals will influence like different decisions that you make whether you want to allocate your resources towards this one uh, one product or for me another. um for example for study bubbly it is whether we wanted to build a community or if we wanted to complete our resources um, our notes and etc for the low income and self-studying students and it's really hard to grasp what it is you want because sometimes there's a correlation one affects the other and you have to build one to gain the other right but ultimately defining these goals is the epitome of this nonprofit project that you have and to do that i feel like outlining your strengths and outlining everyone else in the team's strengths is a very crucial thing to do and this i guess this is part of any team but uh sometimes people can mentally do that but other times if you physically write out like what this person is good at what this person is good at you can kind of see what person is good at what and for them to specialize in that one department or that one area i feel like that's also being more efficient than everyone you know kind of working on the same thing and kind of helping each other because it's kind of not that efficient if that makes sense that's why specialization exists in the first place and this is something <laughs> that my co-sponsor from student council told me but you want a core team over having 
a whole army of people who are working with you because eventually the more people you increase the less efficient you become so having that core group is extremely important for study bubbly that would be the board members having this core group who you know they're willing to do the work you know they're willing to put the effort in that is the main thing that is the main group of people you need to look for you don't need to worry about expanding to like big lanes you know you just need to work with that core group who you know stuff gets done and you can develop that core group anywhere right from your friend circles from people you meet online and these core people i guess is really what helps make the project good it's what makes the project rise it makes the project grow and the other thing i just want you all to watch out for is the time it takes to make this is so much like if you think about it in the very beginning you're spending a lot of time and there's not a lot of results that comes from that in the very beginning i was pure reading dbqs to prep for the ap world history exam back in 2020. i with a bunch of other people we graded dbqs and <laughs> We graded DBQs like very intensely. Um, Nico, one of my friends, she woke up, graded the DBQ, and then a few hours later went to take the test. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> but yeah, that we were very dedicated to editing DBQs and uh, we were tag teaming too. So she was like my tag team buddy. So it was fun times, very fun times. But yeah, besides from that, <laughs> It takes a lot of time in the very beginning. Uh, further from that, what I did was I wrote notes for subjects as was defined as one of our goals. So I started writing notes for the subjects that I was self-studying and I had, you know, resources that I looked at, notes that I took. And that took a very, very long time considering I was doing like five subjects, four to five subjects, probably four, four to five subjects. And it was a lot. Anyways, it was fun though. And I spent a lot of other times creating podcasts or doing podcasts with uh, a lot of my peers. The chemistry between some of the other groups who weren't our core base weren't as together. So what ended up happening for those is that it ended up being kind of awkward with people not being able to speak because they felt a little bit weird. For those subjects that had the core members in it, it was very fun it was very entertaining as well because we made it like a comedian we made it entertaining that was like our goal for the podcast and um it was it was very fun <laughs> so i'm gonna cover one last tip before we can close this video and that is money or no money so yes when you are a fiscal sponsored project you can raise funds and not get taxed for the it the whole point of us being a fiscally sponsored project or 501c3 fiscal sponsored project was because we wanted the credibility for people to you know recognize us as being a little bit more official and that way people trust our notes a little bit more we are high schoolers right we're all just a bunch of teens making notes bunch of angsty teens make making angsty notes the notes are very angsty <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe tell me if you like this type of content i will make more of it and i guess i will see you guys next time bye, -bye.